Hello, welcome, good evening. It's Bill Skolodowski and it's time for iPhone Friday. Thanks for joining me. Uh, every Friday at this time, we do a, a little classroom lesson, I suppose is the best way to put it, about uh, another tip, trick, or interesting way to use your iPhone or iPad. And uh, I have an announcement about that, by the way. We'll do it at the end of the uh, show tonight, should I remember that. But uh, either way, thanks for being here. And I appreciate it. If you're watching live on Facebook, awesome. If you are watching later on on the blog or on uh, the YouTube channel, feel free to drop a comment. And um, I read them and respond to all of them personally anyway. So thank you for that. Oh, one thing I did forget about last week is that I'm still working on the um, the page, the iPhone, iPhone, iPad kind of business fan page. I don't know what you call it on Facebook anymore. But if you could, if you're in the neighborhood, feel free to drop by and uh, give that page a like, please, and uh, follow the page so you also get the latest and you know the rest of the story. So tonight, I wanted to talk a little bit about uh, how to check on your phone and make sure that the battery is in good shape and what apps are using your battery power so that if you find you're running out of juice, you know, early in the day or you're wondering why the battery's running low, you're going to get some tips and tricks tonight about how to find out what's using the battery the most and maybe some ideas about how to take care of that. Okay, so let's uh, dig into the phone, shall we? All right, so by the way, some people have asked me, um, uh, when I do these classes, when I do my classes live, a lot of times I'll also be showing the phone on a, a big screen in class and somebody will say, how do you get it to stay on or to turn off automatically? The answer to that is uh, in settings, there's a setting for display and brightness. And I think we were in there just a couple of weeks ago for one of our other, um, one of our other iPhone Friday classes. But if you scroll down, to, uh, where did it go, iPhone, or excuse me, display and brightness. There it is, it's the blue with the two A's on it there. Display and brightness. The thing that we're looking for here is the auto lock. See auto lock right over there? And I have it set for never, which means that as I'm doing these videos, it will never go to sleep. The phone will never go black, but, you know, if you find that yours goes to sleep too soon or it's on all the time, that's where you would change it. So under settings, display and brightness, and then auto lock, and then you get these choices here, everything from 30 seconds to five minutes to never. So only when I'm doing this video do I go in and I change it to never so that it never goes to sleep in the middle of a video. But you might want to set yours for something pretty short 30 seconds to a minute, for example. And all you have to do is tap on it. It saves it as soon as you jump out. So there's no save button or anything like that. So tap on 30 seconds or a minute. And then when you go back on out in 30 seconds or a minute, whatever your setting is, the phone will automatically go, uh, go dark. Because honestly, the phone itself, the screen on the phone, oops, the screen on the phone is the thing that uses the most power. So if you have it so that the you know screen is on all the time, or maybe you you know it waits five minutes before it turns off. Unless you really need it to do that, it's best to go for a smaller, lower time setting because it's really that screen takes a lot of juice. Okay. Speaking of which, let's go in and talk about batteries. So we're back to settings, and we know we're on the main settings page because it's got the big settings up on top. And look. Now this week I I changed nothing. Remember we talked about this last week, or maybe it was even Wednesday that my picture was there where it says my name on next to settings and now nothing. I, I'm going to have to find out what's going on with that one. Oh, I did find out if you were watching Wednesday and I was making, I was changing the ringtones and things. And I said, Oh, I don't hear why it's doing that. Well, you heard it <laughs> on the video while it was working. I didn't cause it was plugged in. So never mind. If you didn't see it, you can go back and, you know, laugh at me later. So anyway, down to battery, right there, battery, the big green and white one. Tap on battery, all right, and it's gonna take a second. See, it kind of thought about it for a minute there and then it popped up with what it's gonna, you know, got to tell us. The first thing, by the way, that it's got with insights and suggestions there is if you do wanna try and save some battery power, well, there's a good suggestion, all right? And they talk about brightness on the uh, display and how it uses the most power. We were just talking about if the screen is on all the time. So you can always just tap on that. And then there's the brightness slider. Now I think we've talked about this in the past where you can make it dark. I, as I make it darker or lighter on my 
phone, you can see it gets darker. Like it doesn't show it. It doesn't show it on the display over there, but you can see that. That's just one thing you might want to try. But other than that, what I really wanted to bring to your attention is this battery charge and activity meter down here below. So as you can see, the la it shows the last time it was charged up at 3.30 this afternoon. All right. It has a last 24 hours and it has a last 10 days on it. So you can toggle back and forth just by tapping on those to show what's going on. Okay. Now underneath that is really where the information is that we want to look at. All right. So two important tidbits here. Screen time on in the last 24 hours. So we're on the 24 hour thing up at the top. You can see that. In the last 24 hours, the screen's been on for an hour and 34 minutes. It's been off for 58 minutes. I don't really, that doesn't add up to 24 hours, but maybe it was turned off the rest of the time. I don't know. But here's the important thing down below, and that is the battery usage by app. Okay. So you can see that I have been on Instagram way too much. <laughs> that has used 24% of the battery power that I have used. Okay. And then down there, home and lock screen, 8%, uh, Ameritrade, my, you know, stock market, uh, company there, 7%. Uh, I was listening to a uh, radio station, WUSF and there's email maps, Safari. They're all about the same five or 6%. Okay. The thing to be aware of, other than the fact that it's going to point out in graphic detail there what app you're using the most and what is using the most battery. Be aware or be on the lookout, I suppose I should say, be on the lookout, like the cops always say, for something unexpected here. You know, is there an app that's using power a lot and you think to yourself, I, I don't use that all that much. I wonder what's going on there. Well, it's possible that that app could be running in the background and still consuming battery power, even though you're not using it, right? And one of the things that we talked about long time ago when it comes to closing apps, if I go back to the home screen there by that, if you double press, if you have an old, old iPhone like mine with the, with the button, right? If I double press on the button, one, two, right? I can see the open apps and I only have settings open so that if I put my finger on it and I slide up, it closes that. Now you may have dozens and dozens. I was with a friend today. He had an iPad and he must've had a hundred different things open and running. Now, Apple will tell you that that's not a problem, that an app that's running, that's in the background, so to speak, isn't really running at all. It's kind of like asleep. And I think I believe that, but I also think that there may be times that some apps continue to do things while we're not using them. So do you use, do you close it? Do you open it? Do you whatever? I'm kind of, not kind of, I'm definitely one of those people that goes in and checks all the time to see what's running in the background on my phone, right? You might want to do the same. All right. Now, if you have a iPhone uh, 10 or 11, it that doesn't have the button. Of course, you have a different swipe for that. And the easiest one, I believe, I think if you just put your fingers, it's, is it three fingers on it and you squeeze them together? I know that works on an iPad. It worked on my friend's iPad that we were playing with today. And I think it's the same thing. Well, let's, I mean, I can open up notes and close notes and let's open up keep and close keep and let's open up maps and close maps and let's open up uh, my to-do list and close the to-do list. All right. So if I put three fingers on it and I squeeze, er, er, nope, it doesn't do it with the phone. I'll have to, I'm going to work on that one. So with your, with your newer iPhones and iPads, I know that it's three fingers and squeeze, three fingers, squeeze them together. All right. And that will do it for you. I'm just messing around here. But for those of us with older ones with buttons, it's double press one, two, and then it shows you everything that's running and you can just swipe literally on your finger up, 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 up up, up, and it gets rid of everything. It doesn't get rid of it. It closes it, keeps it from, from running. All right. So let's just review that for a second. Back to settings, back to battery, let it kind of do its thing and see what's going on. And then you can see the apps that are using your battery the most, and it goes all the way down and through them, right? So that's a good way to check on apps that are using things, a lot of, ba a lot of battery power and to get a suggestion as to what you might want to do to maybe get some, you know, increased battery power as well. And then the last thing, by the way, at the very top there where it says battery percentage, 
That's literally at the very top of the screen. See way over in the upper right corner, that little itty bitty 74%, that shows the battery charge level. And if I turn that off, it doesn't show that, it just shows the battery itself. And because I have it plugged in, mine is charging, but if it was unplugged, that battery would have more or less um, uh, you know, green showing in it to show how much power was available in the battery. I like numbers, so you know, I turn on the percentage there and I can see that it's 74%. If you don't see the number and you want to see it, that's where you would get it under settings and battery and turn on that battery percentage monitor. Okay, that's gonna do it. Let's jump back to uh, home screen here. Uh, I wanted to mention uh, one thing. Well, I got a couple of things, but uh, I, I've got this idea in mind and you tell me if it's a good one or a bad one. Um, you know, I've told you that I teach these classes, uh, adult education classes where I live in, in Southwest Florida. And of course, that's not happening, but I do have the whole curriculum of everything I have done. And I am thinking, and I wanna give you the opportunity to chime in on this, of just starting from day one with my class curriculum for iPhone Friday. And if that's something that you'd like, now for some of you it might be a little basic, because I have an iPhone 1 class and a 2 and a 3 class, but I think we could start with a 1 or a 2 somewhere, you know, that we could agree on. And um, just start from scratch, really, and take you through all of the processes that I go through when I'm teaching this as an 8-hour, 10-hour class. I don't know how long it is, but anyway, you get the idea. So, good idea, bad idea, whatever. And then we would continue with uh, What's New Wednesday with tips and tricks and brand new things as they come up as well. All right, you think about that and you let me know. <laughs> you get back to me on that one, okay? Well, that's gonna do it for today. Uh, if you haven't done so yet, let me uh, suggest that you might want to head on over to the uh, website to billskolodowski.com and uh, click on that click me button down there where you can get yourself the free uh, handouts for every week and the email on the weekend for the, um, the weekend recap email where I let you know what the two videos were the past week and also give you the class handout. Now you know where I'm getting my language from. The class handout that will explain to you how we did the things on either Wednesday or Friday or both. But feel free, again, BillSklodowski.com, stop on by, sign yourself up. You just get the one email. You know, I do have an intro, introductory email that I send you to say thanks for signing up. But other than that, one email per week. All right, that is going to do it for uh, this Friday edition of iPhone Friday. Thank you for joining. If you have questions or comments, leave them below. I, like I said, respond to all of them personally myself. And have yourself a great weekend. And we'll see you next Wednesday for What's New Wednesday. Take care.